The joints that join us. The human body has 206 individual bones. These bones come together at connections called joints. While some joints do not move freely, such as those in the skull, chest and pelvis, others have a range of motion, enabling mobility and the ability to complete tasks without much thought. The joints are more complex than their looks. They have various abilities based on their structure. Joints can be categorized into three types. Fibrous joints, which contain fibrous tissues and permit very little to no movement. Cartilaginous joints, which have cartilage in between articulating bones and enable minimal movement. And synovial joints, which are the ones that are able to produce a wide range of movement and hence contain synovial fluid to lubricate the sliding between cartilage surfaces. Synovial joints are complicated connectors that are primarily designed to make the human body possible to move from place to place, to eat, work, and play. They are made up of bone, cartilage, and fluid, held together with ligaments and tendons that connect the muscles. Today, we will study six most common types of synovial joints based on their structure and movement. Pivot joints. Pivot joints move side to side. They are uniaxial, which only allow the rotation of one bone around its own long axis. These joints consist of a round end of a bone inside a concave ring formed in the second bone and permit rotation one bone around another. This ring is lined with a ligament to make the movement smooth. Rotational motion of the neck to the left and right and rotational motion of the forearms are the examples of what a pivot joint enables. Hinge joints. Hinge joints bend our limbs. They make it possible for limbs to flex and extend along only one axis. The joint consists of two bones that fit together. One bone has a convex surface and the other one has a concave. Elbows, fingers and toes are hinge joints. Certain hinge joints are referred to as modified because of the arrangement of multiple bones and their complex interactions. The knee joint and ankle joint are classified as modified hinge joints. The structure allows for a slight rotation of the knee and circular movement of the ankle. Ball and socket joints. Ball and socket joints provide rotation. They are the most mobile of the rotation joints, allowing a wide range of motion and are called multi-axial joints. The examples of these are shoulder and hip joints. The spherical polygon end of one bone fits into a concave socket of another bone. The structure of ball and socket joints allows a rotation, circular, and bending movement about its axis. Condyloid joints. Condyloid or ellipsoidal joints generally enable us to twist and bend. They are the ball and socket joints that are elliptical rather than round, allowing bending and circular movement and are only capable of rotation along two axes. These joints are found in the wrist and the base of the index finger. Saddle joints. Saddle joints are similar to condyloid joints, but the connecting bones form an interlocking saddle shape, which also limits the rotational motion. This type of joint can move in two directions, biaxial, such as bending and moving side to side. The thumb is the best example of this. Gliding joints. Gliding or plane joints, as the name suggests, allow smooth motion. The joint surface of both bones are flat and allows the glide and sliding movement against each other. The examples of gliding joints are wrists, ankles and the spine.